All right, welcome to our third game of our tournament here on the Dinosaur Bowling League. I'm Coach Randy alongside Jason Belmonte, as always. Hello, everyone. And we're here getting set for our third game, which is going to be the Alioramus versus the Nano Tyrannus. Now, Jason, we heard there was a lot of breaks during qualifying here before this game. Yeah, we sure saw a lot of breaks during the qualifying, Coach Randy, a lot of good breaks. So if this continues, then we'll probably expect to have some pretty high scores here. It looks like the other pattern's playing pretty well today. All right, great. Well, we're going to kick it off here. Yeah. And Elia Ramos kicks it off with a strike immediately. What a short, beautiful stat for the Elia Ramos. And he shows some early emotion here with a strike in the first frame. All right, so Elia Ramos starts out with a bang. We're going to go now to the Nano Tyrannus. Yeah, and he knocks on, down a strike on. as well. Come on, Daddy. Well, we Let's talked go. about there being a lot of good breaks in the qualifying, expecting a high-scoring game. And guess what? We start out with two strikes right away in the first frame. Yeah, let's see. Looks like it could be going that way. Elia Ramos, now he leaves the 10 pin up. It's going to have to slide it down there. Oh, wait, there was more than a 10 pin. We couldn't see it on the camera. Okay, so there was another pin. And the 10 pin is up. Oh, it was only the 10 pin, excuse me. So he whiffed on it. He whiffed the 10. How did he do that? He whiffed on the 10. Huge mistake for Elio Ramos. You know, he's won the last two games here in our tournament. He's been playing very well, so that was very unusual. Yeah, huge mistake early. Let's see if that comes back to haunt him later or not. Meanwhile, Nana Tyrannus leaves the same spare, except he picks it up. He knocks down the 10. So Nana Tyrannus will be able to take the early lead here after an early open frame, an early e mistake on an easy shot that should have been an easy spare for Elio Ramos. Yeah, that was huge, Coach Reddy. We'll be talking about that throughout the match, most likely. Meanwhile, Elio Ramos, he leaves the same spare again. All right, well, let's see. He should be able to make this easily if it's not too psyched out. Oh, my gosh, he missed it twice. Twice in a row, he missed the easy spare on the 10 pin. What's going on with Elia Ramos? He must have just been nervous from the first time. It's gotten in his head now. Uh-oh, that could be trouble. Two in a row on that is not good. Nano Tyrannus has a great opportunity to build a big lead here. Nope. nope. And... Nope. Nope. Looks like he's got a split here. And he only gets one of the split pins there. Let's see. He's coming back. And yeah, what's going on here? He's trying to get it. Oh, I guess uh, in this game it looks like we're doing multiple split attempts instead of only one. I guess we've had a rule change because yeah. the, the other two games we only did one spare attempt. And this time we're doing multiples here. Yeah, it looks like they've changed the rules just for the third game of the tournament. They're now going to allow the players to do multiple attempts on splits. So that should also help increase the scores a lot versus the first two games where they had to only take one shot. Still going. He's not able to convert this, though. So he gets an open. Yeah, well, that was big. He had a chance to start building a big lead, and he left it open now. So a bunch of opens here in the first three frames from, from both players. Yeah, not what we expected there. We thought we'd see high scoring, but we're now into the second frame. And, oh, here we are. Something's going on with it. All right. Here we are. Setting it up, and... Oh, my goodness. He's got a split, and he makes it! All right, so Nana Tyrannus with a split after Elia Ramos got a strike in the fourth frame. Yep. So we're headed into our fifth frame. Here we go. Elia Ramos. He leaves that same 10 spin spare so he's going to get another chance to make it. Can he finally? He finally does it. The monkey's off his back. Oh, boy. Finally, Coach Randy. He must have been really thinking about that one. Like, oh, my gosh, am I going to miss it three times? How embarrassing is that going to be on national TV? But he made it. 
Luckily for him, he made it. There we go. Now the Tyrannus leaves eight. Eight pins spare here. Or uh, eight pins down, I mean. And he gets the spare in the fifth frame. Well, now it's time for the mid-game score check sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. So let's take a look. Nana Tyrannus in the fourth frame had a 65-57 pin advantage over the Alioramus. They both got spares in the fifth, so we'll see how their fifth frame ends up. Yes, so Nana Tyrannus really missed an opportunity to take a big lead here with those two opens from Alioramus. And now it's not that far off. It's fairly close game, actually. Yeah, Elio Ramis is very lucky to still be in it after those I opens. I hit it, but it just didn't go down. It's like glued. What happened there? Another one? I, I, I missed it, but it, I hit it, but I missed it. Uh, for some reason, how I hit it, but I missed it for hmm. some reason. That should have counted. That was so disappointing. Another open, and he missed it on the same 10. Pin. Are you believing this? Unbelievable. Three times in one game. He is going to be pretty embarrassed here. He better hope he doesn't leave any more of those. Nana Tyrannus now with a split in the sixth frame. He's going to have to make a split here. And he missed that one. He's still working it. And oh boy. Not that time. Hello. And again. Oh, oh, there it is. And he got it. He's getting fired yes. up here. That's how you get fired up. And he got it for the spare. So he's going to keep that lead going. Very impressive. I didn't think I was going to He's that. in here now. He had an 83 in the fifth. So nobody got 100 in the fifth, which is a surprise. We thought we'd have a high-scoring game with the good breaks from the qualifiers. But you know what? We haven't seen the good breaks in the real game. Yeah, it's really weird. Once we got into the real game, the good breaks have gone away. And look at that. Is Elio Ramos leave another open frame? What's going on? Elio Ramos might lose for the first time today. He's leaving open after open here.